We've had a crazy viral launch for Winglang. Today, I'm going to take you into the six steps we've used to take Wing into 400 stars and getting into the GitHub trending feed in three days. So let's get started. Hi, everybody. My name is Nevo. Welcome back to the channel. For those who don't know me, I usually talk about open source tech and marketing. So please go ahead, click the subscribe button and let's get started. In order to have a good launch, you usually want to have multiple sources to bring traffic. The first one we're going to talk about is LinkedIn and Twitter. We use multiple influencers during the week with a very clear CTA to go ahead and give us a star. Each influencer has their own kind of unique way of posting. So you gotta adapt to that. Like don't try to create content that looks weird on their timeline. The first one we have been using is Alex Wang. We just created this nice voice on Eleven's Lab describing what Wing Lang is. We actually cloned the voice of Liam Neeson. It's quite funny. I'll put the link in the description. And we've put some different stock footage in between and that converted into more than 120 likes. I think generally we could have done better, but it's kind of funny and we got some nice comments, people asking some questions. So really nice engagement. The second influencer was Santiago. We use Santiago usually almost on a regular basis he's very expensive but he has the most amount of engagement compared to his audience size so if we take Alex Wang she got almost 800,000 followers but she got like 120 likes I don't know exactly how much views we're still in the phase after the lunch to kind of understand how much Santiago has like around 400,000 views but he gets to his post around 300,000 views and that converts beautifully into stars we actually realized that X convert to stars a lot better than LinkedIn but I will address it in the end and why it's also very important to post on LinkedIn. The second channel we've used is a dev article. What I feel that you can write many different types of dev articles, such as how to build something with your program or a whole use case. What I've realized is really nice to write an article from somebody else's perspective on why you, they would like to use your program. I've written about my previous startup and the struggling that I had because I didn't have Wing. It's actually really cool to see how I've solved it now with Wing. It's a really true story, super inspiring. And actually the intro is even not so connected. I've just wrote there on, on how much money I've made. But I think it's also very hooky to come and read the rest of the article. The third channel we have used is other publishing platforms such as Hashnode, Hackernoon, and Medium. So so once we've posted that on dev, the best thing about dev is that most of the traffic come from Google actually, and not from the platform itself. And it's because dev has a very high domain authority. I'm not sure why, but Google likes to scrape dev. So when we post on dev, we know that if we have a very hooky title and a very hooky cover, we will be picked up by Google. So we've tried this already with the multiple articles and it always works, generating between 10K views to 20K views. So that's definitely the platform you want to launch your content on. Number three is cross posting the article into other publishing platform. So we post it to Medium, Hashnode and Hackernoon. So let's talk about them. Medium has this cool feature of publications. It takes some time. You need to talk to some people to get those publications, but we usually send it to some places like JavaScript in plain English, or we can send it to Slice of Dev. Then we actually get views from their audience, which is really nice because their audience get a notification. Hashnode is actually the worst platform to launch on because it almost gives you zero kind of organic traffic. What I like about this platform is that I can use it for experiments if I want to kind of like try to send traffic from a one type of resource and I will talk about it in number four. And the last one is Hackernoon, which is pretty nice. They have their Hackernoon uh, email that they send every day. So if you get into this email, that's great. It will give you more traffic. In general, it gives you something between 700 to 1000 views. So it's not bad, it's not dev, but still cool, it's just another traffic source that you can use. Number four is to promote your article over Reddit. And this is where Hashnode starting to shine because you can take Hashnode article and then see the amount of views that you get. The thing is that you want to change the article a little bit and this is a mistake we've done. We created a very hooky title and a very hooky cover picture. It's It feels like pure advertisement for some people. And because Reddit is a platform with a lot of toxicity, people will start writing you very nasty comments and that's what happened to us. One once even one or two people starting to write nasty comments, it's changing the narrative of the article and then a lot of people starting to downvote the article. So what you 
probably want to do is change the title to be less hooky, change also the cover picture, maybe to be more professional because we put some kind of like an angel or something like that. You want to decrease the amount of advertisement that you do because I talked about wing length multiple times. I should do something probably a little bit more plain and simple about architecture, changing to another architecture. So Reddit was not a big success. However, we got around 20,000 views on each subreddit we posted on Reddit and it converted into around 3,000 views for Hashnode, but we haven't gotten a lot of stars from it and of course it's because of the intent of what people read before number five is just your social media so you've posted the article why not to post it on LinkedIn and Twitter? You can get initial traffic in. The thing about dev is that when you get traffic in, they start to show you more on the relevant feed. And I think this is why Google picks up different articles and put them on their feed. So you want to bring as much as possible when you just start. Another option is you can join the Git Room Discord channel. Every time somebody launches something, they usually put it there for people to support them and then they get a few likes or claps depends on the platform and it really boosts the article so please come and join i've put the link in the description so really push it on social media number six and it's the one that usually not working so well is to post it on hacker news and lobsters hacker news and lobsters are unpredictable both of them works a little bit closer to reddit because they are very anonymous so you probably want to use something like your hash node article and not the one that you post on dev. The thing is that even on Reddit, many kind of websites getting very low score on Hacker News and some of them are even not publishable. For example, you can publish dev articles on any platform almost. And I've tried Hashnode on Hacker News and it's also not working. It does work on Lobsters. So I suggest multiple things. The first option is that you can just add a subdomain to your hash node if you don't have any other blog. So that will probably get accepted. The second one is if you have your own website, you probably also want to release the article on your main website. If you do that, then you can take all the other platforms that you have and send a canonical link to your main website. So Google will not detect it as a duplicated content because you really don't want Google to punish your own website, especially because if you take platforms like dev, they have a very high domain authority compared to your website. So if they need to choose a duplicated content, they will probably choose your website. So really make sure from all the platforms that you send a canonical link. Now, the thing about those lunches that they're really pushing into stars, and yes, I've written it everywhere, push into stars, get more stars, increase your vanity metric. But honestly, if you're thinking about that, the thing is not about the stars. And I've seen it over and over again. It's about the lunches. It's about you show up every week nonstop. Because I've seen other people, what they usually do, they plan on channels like SEO and ads, and then they don't really make a lot of noise. And when people find them, they don't really have a lot of brand. And I will tell you this story next time about a company I'm working with that used to go to a lot of meetings to get leads and usually they will not get any follow-up back but now they get tons more follow-up back and people usually say yes we've heard about you yes we've seen you somewhere because that's the main secret making non-stop noise and this is the same thing I've done in Novo when I was working there so keep on launching every week don't stop even if it's a smaller lunch just lunch it's your brand just do it. And if that's interesting for you, please go ahead and check my previous video where I talked about the Google Discover feed and how you can get there and how we got 15,000 views for our previous lunch.